Hi, I'm here with assistant coach Logan Biddle for the Army Colonials women's hockey team. Now, this past weekend you guys swept Vermont, scoring a total of 11 goals. Do you want to talk about that performance and the offensive success? Uh, yeah, uh, it, was, it was actually kind of surprising for us as we've kind of struggled to score some goals this year, but uh, we always knew that we had the talent there to do it. Um, we've been working a lot in practice on, uh, you know, bearing our opportunities, taking advantage of the chances that we get. And uh, I think we did a really good job of that this weekend, and we're really hoping that we can uh, kind of carry that over into Penn State this weekend. Okay, and also in that series, Brittany Howard had a total of five points, earning her her second CHA Rookie of the Week award. What can we expect, expect to see from her for the rest of the season? Well, I think more of the same. Uh, she definitely has the ability to be a game changer from uh, uh, game in and game out, um, as you kind of saw in that uh, uh, this past weekend and throughout the rest of the season. I think right now she's leading the uh, leading the country in scoring for freshmen. So, um, you know, we expected that coming in, and uh, that might be a little bit of pressure for her, but that's a good kind of pressure to have. You know, if you have that ability uh, to make those plays, we we want you to do it. And, um, I think the rest of the season, I think when she gets a little bit more comfortable with the uh, the speed of the college game, um, you're going to see even more out of her. So, uh, so far, it's been a good start for her, but uh, look, for, look to see more of the same coming in the, the rest of the season. And then on top of that, each of the seniors had a point this weekend. What does that say about the senior class? I didn't know that, but no, that's great. Um, uh, you know, the senior class has been through a lot here. Um, they've, they've, they've had their ups and downs, obviously, their first year. Uh, was a tough one, but then coming back their second year, they won a CHA championship. So they've kind of seen the highs and the lows and, and what it takes. So, um, you know, we look upon them to, to, to kind of help our younger kids uh, get through those highs and lows that, that college hockey brings. And I think they're doing a good job so far this year. And, and you know, if they can get, uh, put them on the stat sheet a little bit too, that's a good thing as well. So, um, you know, we're looking for more of the same from them the rest of the year. And then going back to the freshman, Jessica Dodds has five wins now this season. Can you talk about her a little bit? Yeah, uh, Dodsey was a, uh, a big recruit for us, and, and obviously uh, she's shown it at the beginning of the season here. So I think she's 5-0. and all. Um, I think self-admittedly there was a couple goals last weekend that she'd like to have back, uh, but that's a sign of a good goalie. Hey, like you're not really happy with uh, with necessarily just winning the games, but you want to you know make sure that you're doing the best at all the times. And um, you know we expect a lot of her from not only this year, but you know for the next three years as well. Um, and yeah, she's a she's a top end goalie, and she can uh, consistently do it. Uh, we're going to see a lot of good things out of her. Okay, and then last question: This upcoming weekend, you start off see you take play against Penn State at the new Ice Arena. What can we expect? Uh, you know, Penn State's a pretty good team. Uh, they, they've had some good results this year. Um, you know, pretty similar to what we have in, in some common opponents. They, they did well against Vermont. Uh, so it came off a weekend last weekend where they, they played UNH, who's having a good year this year, and they played them pretty tight as well. So uh, Penn State's got some good goaltending. They have a couple players that can really shoot the puck and score. Um, so on any given day, they're in, they're in a game. So I expect it to be just like any CHA game that we play, which would be a hard battle, uh, a lot of tough, gritty plays, and, and I think the team that uh, that capitalizes on their chances is going to be uh, most likely to come up with the victory. So it'll be a good weekend and a good start for the CHA play for our girls. Okay, thanks for your time. And Thank you.